Well, Samsung has a very large stand full of stuff. Uh, obviously got all of their different brands of TVs. Uh, I mean, you can see a lot of these things in the regular retail stores that you go to, the Harvey Normans and JB Hi-Fi's and Good Guys and all those sorts of organisations. Um, as I'm walking through, obviously Samsung has a lot of gaming stuff. Look at some of these huge, giant monitors that are curved. Hi. Hello. Are you authorised to talk to me about any of these screens? Uh, I can only tell you what I know. Sure. Yeah. Well, yeah, tell absolutely. us. Absolutely. So this is going to be... Oh, are you ready? One sec. Okay. Go for it. So what we're taking a look at right here is the Odyssey Arc display. So these are both the same 55 inch monitors right here. It can reticulate to the right 90 mm -hmm. degrees yep. in the horizontal or vertical. They're hosting 165 hertz display with a one millisecond time delay. It has 2.2.2 Dolby Atmos surround sound as well. Mm -hmm. It has two subwoofers built in and it's all, all surround sound on every single edge of the panel as well. It has two LEDs, one on the bottom and one on the top to illuminate your wall all yep. by itself. And what's cool about it is that you can run three programs at the same time running on a one display port. So that's going to be really, really awesome to kind of like condense people's cords that's and it. have one Who needs one to have display. two or three monitors when you can just have one? Exactly, right? <laughs> and I believe it's a lot more ergonomically comfortable yeah. to have your eyes scan up and down rather than turning your head left and right that's all the it. time. Yeah. Also, work. I'm trying to think of it. Oh, it's a 165 hertz display. Oh, I already went over that. So that's pretty much going to be it. Okay. <laughs> that what we know, right? When are they coming to retail? Uh, that is to be determined for now. Mm -hmm. um, same thing with the price. Yeah. We don't know just yet, but it was unveiled yesterday. Sure, sure. Well, they're beautiful displays. Absolutely. Definitely very nice. Yes. And if you have any time, go ahead and check it out. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, let's have a look what else we can see. So there's lots of, uh, this is uh, Samsung's Neo LED QLED for gamers. Obviously Samsung is trying to promote the fact that it has incredible screens, which is one of the company's strengths. Most people are not buying 8K TVs, but at this rate, it'll be uh, something that will be everything that people want to upgrade to. I mean, we've seen over the past few years the great upgrade to 4K. Everyone's got 4K just about now. And 4K is available at uh, just about every price point you can think of. So let me just uh, keep walking through. There's uh, so much to see, not enough time to see it all. You could spend probably the whole day just at this one stand. Like, where we gotta go now? So we're looking here at the various frame TVs. This, of course, is the TV that can spin around for the Instagram generation or for being able to look at your phone. You can see here that it, you've got three different things on the one screen at the same time. Down the bottom there, we have clearly a browser. If I just zoom into that. The screen actually is spinning around by itself. There's another one there. Auto rotating stand and wall mount. So you can enjoy content in both vertical and horizontal modes. The Ciro with the auto rotating kit. So there we go. I mean, that's something Samsung launched before, but clearly this is an update and an advance. And um, yeah, there is the browser, there is the football match, and some sort of, uh, it's got current location, partly cloudy. And there it goes spinning again. Samsung's frame display, there's the Mona Lisa, much larger than uh, you'll see in the Louvre in Paris. Much more beautiful. And it's saying, explaining that it's a, uh, there's a display with a matte finish. So you've got previous version of the frame and the newer version of the, of the frame.
here we have a little projector. Hi. Thank you. Wanna, can you tell me about the projector? Is there someone that I can? I can tell you about it. Um, is, is there someone that I can record? If you go to the information booth, they can they can set something up for you. Sure. I apologize. No worries. Well, one of the biggest and clearly busiest stands. Time to go.